Vice President Dr. Bayad Jadil on Tuesday contended that Exxon Mobil will have no problem with the political leaders firm on their payroll because they stand to benefit from that relationship. Why would Exxon Mobil want to get rid of the leader of a political party in parliament who is on your payroll? who has publicly stated that he will put Exxon's interest above that of Diana. Jack Deal said in a comment provided to the newsroom, The vice president's comments came hours after Exxon Mobil Diana's president Alastair Routledge denied concerns about a potential conflict of interest with newly elected Alliance for Change AFC leader. Nigel Hughes, whose law firm, Hughes, Fields & Stobie, represents the oil company, asked directly about that potential conflict of interest. Routledge earlier Tuesday told reporters that the company complies with all laws and regulations. We comply with all laws and regulations here and internationally so we don't believe we have any conflict of interest, Rautel said at the sidelines of an event. Mr. Hughes disagrees that a conflict of interest exists, but has said that he will cut ties with his law firm only if elected to serve in government. The lawyer also said he will not participate in any discussions or decisions on oil and gas in the AFC. Jack Deal, who is also the General Secretary of the Governing People's Progressive Party Civic PPPC, is among those who flagged the potential conflict of interest. Jack Deal is concerned about the lawyer using his position of influence to sway business transactions or policies. He pointed out that Mr. Hughes is now leader of a political party which has members in parliament. The vice president also commented inflated legal bills can also mask political contributions. And with concerns mounting about this possible conflict of interest, Jack Dio said, Exxon will hear from the government of Diana at the appropriate time and place on this matter.